Webster, live from Webster Timber Lanes in Abington, Massachusetts, raising money for bowlers and their families in the fight against the costs of this terrible disease. Donate or take part by going to candlepinsforcancer.com. Today, we're pleased to welcome the stars of our third stepladder matchup, the previous winner and number three seed, Charlie Collins, and our number two qualifier with a roll-off score of 632, Scott LaPierre. And now your hosts, Paul Grant and Mike Morin. Thank you, Greg Guya. Welcome to those on Cannon Bowling Network and the WON Sports Network. Number two seed, Scott LaPierre, no stranger being the ladder series. Last year, the fifth seed ran the whole gambit and won over $2,700. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it was a good day. Good day. I was on fire that day. Yeah, you bought a Sanford Maine Bowl Rama, one of the best bowls in Maine, around a 123, 124 average. Yes, sir. Yep, definitely, absolutely. Fun place to bowl. Love it down there. And we got your son here today, Benjamin. Yeah. Benjamin, welcome. I see you're practicing earlier today. You're going to beat your father someday? Yes, I will. <laughs> Big money match sometime a couple of years from now? Yeah, probably. A couple, a couple more years. Couple What's your years. average right now? Uh, 73. Right, you'll get there. Is he, is he coaching really well? Yes. Do you, do you listen to him? Yes, okay. I do. Okay. Right, I like it. Good luck today. Thanks. Mike Moran with the Terminator, Charlie Collins. Uh, what's, your, what's his name again? Benjamin. Benjamin. You realize in about 10 years you're going to be bowling Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, so Nate mentioned in my previous match where he bowled with my brother, and that was when he was like, I think Hunter was probably like 13, and Nate, I mean, I don't know how old Nate is, but, you know, that was. 38. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like that, so. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> you know what? It goes by so quickly. Uh, at, at Pilgrim Lanes, we did a rock and bowl every year to, to send the kids to Canada. So it's before you were bowling, I'm sure. And, uh, and I used to host that for about 10 years. And I pulled out some, some uh, photos the other day. And I looked. And who was sitting next to me at about 10 years old? Jonathan Boudreaux. Mm. I've actually seen I went on YouTube and did some digging as well. I found Boudreaux when he was like seven with uh, Reno. It was funny. Yeah. All right. So uh, you you got by with a squeaker last game. What's in the, the the bag of tricks for this one against this wily veteran? Um. Well, last game, my first two strings, I was feeling well. On my third one, I got a little nervous because I knew I was in the lead, and uh, Nate bounced back. I knew it was going to happen, and it got in my head. But I was like, you know, you know, I gotta I gotta be serious now, and it's because anything can happen, and something did happen. I won by one. So. So I mean, this game really is between the ears, right? But it's between the gutters too. Correct, yes. Well, we enjoyed having your mother on uh, for our last broadcast, and she did not embarrass you, trust me. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good luck to you. All right, it's good a three-string format, total pinfall. All that matters, if there's a tie, a one-string roll-off. Webster Timberlanes, Abington Mass, Candle Fits for Cancer, Season 3, Ladder 1, third match of the day. Thanks Welcome so much. Welcome to Greg Guyar. Thanks, Paul. And, oh, this game's between the gutters. 30, uh, 21, please, Charlie. Remember, Candlepin plays just like big ball bowling, except you get three balls instead of two, and all pins on the plate stay on the plate and can be used as live wood. Welcome back, Mr. Mike Morin. Well, here we go. We got our first look at uh, Charlie for the uh, third of four matches. Does maybe we got to talk to Josh Daly again this string? <laughs> Too busy at his pizza. His <laughs> hand-rolled pizza here at Webster Tim Lane's Lucy's Restaurant Bar. Absolute must-have pizza. Well, and the 10-inch chocolate chip cookie pizza. I must have. I think it's all gone, though. We haven't. No, I got, I got two. I'll get you one, Mike, before you go. 7-10, piece of wood to help. Can you pick it up? Oh, what a try. Spinning, but isn't going to get far enough over. I call it a Twizzler shot. <laughs> Do you like Twizzlers? No. Nah. Not a fan of licorice or that kind of candy. I did growing up not anymore. 10 to start the first of three strings. Good way to ruin your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I might need them for another 20 or 30 years. <laughs> We got your make candle pin gray mugs again here at Webster Tim Lane's Abington Mass. Sixteen dollars. Pick them up at the front desk. Makes a great gift set for any occasion. Make candle pin gray again mugs. Hats available online as well. Etsy.com, etsy.com. Type in candle pin and follow the link to support all things candle pin bowling. Yes, making candle pin great again is a bipartisan initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Guillo, the disclaimer. Two four seven, and you got it. Spare. 41-year-old Scott LaPierre is next, and he is from Maine. 
Sanford, Maine, as a matter yeah. of fact. And great owners in Owen, O.J. Martin. What a great job they do up there. They got the school bus that picks yes. up kids after the school program. A number of places did that in the past. I don't know that many of them do anymore, but I think it's a really smart move to do that. Charlie 20 the ball through two. Scott Lapierre, a quarter west of the Yikes. Welcome to the wonderful world of can up and bowling, folks. <laughs> the had two a, pin. Yeah, I had a bit of a dribble on that, that shot. So there was nothing going on with the ball when it hit the pin. Speaking of dribbling, did you ever play basketball? Were you a basketball player growing up? I was not. I was not. An insult I to was, injury. I was just a tiny kid. I mean, I was 5'2 when I got my driver's mm -hmm. license, so. No Spud Webb type in you? No. <laughs> and a terrible wow. two. See why I hate that shot, the half whistle, Greg? Explain the half whistle to the WON Sports Network audience. The story goes that there was a team from Boston and a team from Worcester, and... Oh, there we go. One time, a team from Boston, a team from Worcester, was down to the last frame, and the bowler punched out the two eight or the three nine, who knows which. And the team from Boston jeered, "You're halfway back to Worcester." They weren't going to win the match after that. Scott trying to work out of this five down, five to go shot. One three five eight ten would to possibly help. Looks good, but it won't carry to the five and eight. And Charlie Collins has the early lead. Scott making the trip from Sanford, Maine. 10, just 12 through 2. Yeah, that'll settle him down a little bit, yeah. I think. Charlie Collins, the Terminator from Waltham, Massachusetts. Just graduated from Framingham State University as a business major. 20 in a ball on lane 22. Above the Candlepins for Cancer logo. Donations encouraged via Venmo. Candlepinsforcancer.com or Candlepins number 4, cancer.com. Bowlers helping bowlers going through cancer treatments. Candlepins number 4, cancer.com. Collins, he gets the half whister. Oh boy. On a spare. See why I hate that shot? Drives me crazy. 22 12, up 10 though. It is beautiful when it goes though. Collins, good bid. Five right, four left. Yeah, I think he put it where he wanted to, but it didn't quite go, leaving the four and the five. Yeah, almost impossible shot to make. Collins, nine. 31 through three, first of three strings. The winner plays the number one seed. It's tornado season. Tim Douglas, the number one seed next. Welcome back, Mike Moore, author as well and radio personality over 50 years. Well, the good news is uh, you mentioned author that lunch with Tommy and Stacia is going into its second printing. So if you didn't get one the first time around. There's a strike for the Terminator. Wow. Yeah. 41 plus two through four. See, Mike, you should book. Got Charlie going. I got talking about it. Yeah, you I booked him. I <laughs> book him, Dano. <laughs> uh, Hawaii Five O, yes. another one of your favorite shows. Yeah, well, I like that show. It's a good show growing up. That's Charlie's it first was. strike of the day. Yeah, he didn't get a strike the first match. How about what's wrong with him? Make me look back on the Terminator. <laughs> Finally gets a strike. Good. Sorry, Mike. Lap year, thin hit, goes left. Just another one goes. Yeah, another still one goes. Falling. One three seven ten. So talk about your book after this shot. Your, your books. In your radio career as well. You're from Michigan originally? That's correct. Ten pin bowler growing up. Lapierre, good try. He got it. Wow, what a shot for his fair. Can't make the easy one sometimes. 22 and a ball through three in the first of three from Abington at Webster Timber Lanes. Well, look at the improvement from a two to a ten to a spare. Oh, now it's a strike, boxes. right? It's going to be a strike next, right? It's going to be right? a strike, yeah. Upward trajectory. What a great owner here, John Pumphrey of Webster Timber Lanes. Lucy's Pizza Bar on the bonus for a strike. The five tries to go on the nine, but it holds up. 33-3, back to the minimum. Nice recovery. So we have a delivery of food here. Is that what I see here? Yeah, Greg got food. Didn't, didn't, didn't ask us if we wanted food. Well, Thanks, Greg. That's all right. <laughs> We're going for the pizza, though. <laughs> He's offering you a French fry. We're going for the pizza and the chocolate chip cookie pizza later on. <laughs> oh, just missed. Uh, you can feel a breeze back here in that one. That's a tough one to make because you know that. Uh, it only goes like just Charlie's. over one or two times for the average pro yeah. bowler. Stats by Kenneth Molly Network without wood. And gets the object pin for one for a nine. It was not a Paul Grant special. No, got to miss the second, make the third totally. <laughs> got to miss it totally in the second shot, like I did yeah. many times, which is why it was only a 110 bowl my best year. But which is still good. There's nothing to be ashamed of. No, there. Not, not, not even practicing. Once a week, no practice. That was pretty good. I was right behind you with once a week as well at 107. Here's Charlie Collins, third season in a row in the ladder, winning his first match. A thriller, instant classic, 
over Nate Lee's absolute must-see match on Can Up and Bowling Network, and later on on the WON Sports Network, a diamond would possibly help that sleeper pin in the nine. Can he pick it up? No, went right. Three and the five. This ladder series is great. It's so tightly stacked. Eight in the strike. Ten in the box. Seems like a lot of these ladders are f a lot of times very closely, you know, it's what, uh, 20 pins from top to bottom here, Paul, where a couple marks could have put Nate Lees as the top seed. He wouldn't have had to bowl as much because he was in a fair amount of pain today after bowling six strings. 49 through four, 10 box, 59 half. Box to box, he's up 10. The 22 year older on the nose. A check mark right, the five in the middle, three, six, ten to the right of the five. On the left is the four and seven. A plank in front, it might go tip left or tip right. I think he's gonna go right on that tip. That's how I'd play it. That's how he does it. He does, and he almost got it, he oh! did get it! Wow, what a shot! Who is this guy? The violin bow from the wow. seven to the ten. What a 69 shot. 69 ball through six, just the way he drew it up. <laughs> we'll have to talk to Charlie how he designed that play. I wonder John Madden would have done the Telestrator. Yeah, right. <laughs> Boom! I think he was pretty upset that he left it in the first place, <laughs> as opposed to feeling the joy of making a crazy hard spare. Hey, anywhere they go, right? Yes, indeed. Scott Lapierre from Bolarama, San Firmin. One, three, six, ten, four, husband right, plus the eight. Yes, a two box, a ten. A spare eight and a nine to start. He's been going left, though, with almost every first ball that he's thrown. He struggled early in the roll loss. Good bid, leads up the mm. 10. He was sticking on the, the, the lot in the first two, and he came back on the 159, the fifth string, to get the number two spot. A 632 qualifying round. The high single of 207, you can watch it on YouTube, Scott Lapierre, 207. He's from San Fermain. Averaging between 121 and 124 his career. High triple of 460. High five, 727, and a high 10 of 1314. Gets the 10, 59 through 6. A correction, 49 and a half, make it. Yeah, and get ahead of myself. How, how difficult it is to get a 200 game. He's the only one of all these great bowlers today that's had one. Yeah, Nick Norcross in attendance has two of them in his career. Yeah, we had a chance to talk uh, with Nick recently, and last uh, game, match. Beautiful ball, eight. Five right, eight left. Wood coming out of play. His mother was an accomplished bowler in the 1980s. She was a national championship winner. And bowling runs in their family. And it continues with his young son. Yeah, Benjamin, 11 years young. Who is here. What a, a, a nice, polite young man, huh? And Rick Nichols works here. We'll We're going to check to see if the ball, wood. if the, uh, the pin is in front of the Deadwood line, which is 24 inches from the uh, the one pin toward the uh, the foul line. For those who don't know, Scott Lapierre has won 17 combined main state titles spanning from youth to adult, five pro series titles, including two singles and two doubles, one with Jeff, I'm not related to Lapierre, and one with Hall of Famer Craig Holbrook. The 207 high single is in the final of the pro series ultimate ladder in 2011 in Fitchburg, Mass. Available again on YouTube. And he threw a 727, the world singles knockout. Made the final four in the world tournament. Interesting. Spare. That's now 59 in the ball through that's six. That's the experience of somebody who's been bowling as long as he has. Because I'm looking at it and thinking, man, i got to just cut it really thin on the right-hand side. Otherwise, you're going to cap the wood. But he did it perfectly. And sometimes that delay, waiting for the wood to get removed, can slow you down a little bit, too. Mess up your rhythm. Yeah, that was, that was a thing of beauty. Charlie Collins on a spare also. He's up 10, 69-59 in Abington, Mass. at Webster Timberlands. He's in the pocket, he has a diamond. And the average professional bowler is 27% success rate, some plus, some minus. Stats by Canelton Bowling Network. That's on a spare, 75 through six. Now does that break down into wood and not no wood? wood? Off With the no wall, wood. almost. Nope, does okay. not, without wood. Okay. The executive producer of Canelton Bowling Network is Bob Lee, WON Sports Director and founder of Jonathan Rios. Collins a 10. After 75 through 6, 10, 85 through 7. First of three strings. Kennel Fisher Cancer, season three, ladder one. Our third of four matches today. On deck is the Tornado, Tim Douglas. And he was the Easter Classic one this year also in dramatic fashion. 
two crucial spares, the last two boxes of the match to win it. Collins, that looked good for a strike. The five oh pin God. is rearranged. That ball was so perfectly set in the pocket, and he leaves the, f the five, could, eight, nine. You could say it's the five and a half pin. Yeah. Eight left, nine right. <laughs> I don't, I'm not loving that wood, by the way. No. Might go red line to Harvard. Let's see how he plays it. He caps it. No. See, he capped it. I, I thought he was going to go a little further left. I thought he'd go red, red line and left. And maybe, he, maybe he wanted to. Yeah. This is on my video before I threw the shot. And gets a nine. 94 through eight, first string. Scott Lapierre on the move. After a two through one, he's at 59 the ball through six. Had a spare eight in the third. Mike, talk about your books again, your three books. Sure, I did uh, one on my radio career called 50 Shades of Radio, because I've been in the business 50 years. And then I have also, my most recent book is about the most loved diner in New Hampshire called the Red Arrow Diner. And the one that's going to be printed in the uh, second edition now is Lunch with Tommy and Stacia, TV's Golden Age of Canopin Bowling, which was my favorite of the three books to write because I got to talk to all these people. And I'm thinking if I could live another 30 years, which yeah, you got of course it. You got, you, got happen, it. you got it. You got it. Then I would love to do a book on this new generation of bowlers. I would try. Six in the sphere, 65 through six, just missed. The object pin, the three, has a seven left. So, yeah, go ahead. More in Mike's book in just a moment. Scott Lapierre, wide right for an eight. 73 through seven, box to box. He's down 12. He's up against a nine. Continue, Mike, with your book. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, I was very grateful that the book sold out, but I was also frustrated because I kept getting people saying, where can I get it? Well, you can't. And you're going to write two more chapters? How many more chapters? Uh, no, I'm not, because that would just make the cost of the book prohibitive. So I'm just going to go with the original version. It's only four years old. Uh, Pierre, two in the four, spare chance. These are, again, about 51% without wood for Pro Bowls on average. Some more, some less. Stats by Candleton Bowling Network. CBN. I'm amazed that you have that tucked away in oh. your cerebellum somewhere. Bob Lee has trained me well. <laughs> Executive producer. Lapier for spare. Off the wall, got it! 83 to ball through eight. A little bit thin, but the sidewall provided the, uh, the, the assist on that one. Down 11, but on a mark to cut the single digits. <laughs> Great use of the cerebellum. So we right. talked earlier about doing an audio book down the road also. I'd kind of like to do that. Um, yeah, you just sit in the booth and you just read the book. And Because you know what? A lot of people say, you know, I, I don't read books. I read yours because the subject matter interested me. So I think a lot of people would be exposed to it uh, if they didn't have to read it. I get that. Today's world, it's a lot easier to do that. Six right, seven left for Charlie Collins. Third season in a row in the ladder. Try and kick it over. Oh, what a try. Nice try. Couldn't quite get to the seven. Didn't miss by much, did he? Well, you've got a photographic memory, it seems, but if you were keeping a journal for, you know, doing this for about 10 years, you'd definitely have book material there. Oh, I, I go to sleep all these numbers in my head, you know. <laughs> Not on purpose. I don't practice. I just, it's like Radio Shack and catalog numbers. I knew most of the catalog numbers in my sleep. Ten. You still know them? <laughs> a lot of them. 104 through nine. Didn't Nate Lees used to work for yeah, Radio Shack? Yeah, we worked for Radio Shack together for a few years. He got smart. He got earlier. <laughs> I went 31 years in nine days. <laughs> but who's counting? Yeah, two, five, seven, ten for Collins. The famous character named Dark Shadows, the Collins family. Oh. Jeremy Seaman would love that. Lo loves that show. He likes horror. Two, five, ten. And Scott Leffer can take the lead after one string with another mark. Charlie, eight, 112, opening string. Scott Lafayette, 83 in a ball through eight. For those wondering what Charlie just did, because maybe we have some new viewers, we had a candle pin that was actually in the ball rack that was taken uh, and was removed by one of the employees here because the pin was in illegal territory. So instead of throwing it back when you got a full rack of pins, you bring it back put it in the rack, and then somebody throws it back down to the pit afterwards. That's that's the preferred way to do it. I've seen people go in there and just throw it back when there was still a full set of pins. On the bonus, just missed the pocket. Thought he had it. Not happy with that shot. Five, 88 through eight. Collins up six in the string in the first of three. Semifinal match. Ben's doing a great job on those controls of the scoreboard. 
11 year old son from the spare. Good try. And there's our third Star Trek character of the day, the seven of nine, <laughs> played by Jerry Ryan. <laughs> You're just getting a blank stare from me on that one, big guy. I didn't watch the show either. <laughs> I know the character. My wife watched it all the time. Nine. Oh, really? 97 through nine. Throw yeah, the she's wife under the bar. Picard series, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She's the captain of the ship now, I guess, too. Oh, I gave it away. Sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> How are those chicken fingers over there, big boy? <laughs> Good. Greg talked with his mouth I full. just wanted to see if he would talk with his mouth he full. He did. He didn't let me down. Oh, I got a break. The five went. The king A huge trailed. break. Seven pin with Well, that. that's not. Well. A funky piece of wood. We need a Minnesota uh, Fads pool shot here to get around the Pretty much. I mean, he does have a little bit of right to left rotation on his ball. Which, which is going to be helpful, but uh, all he has to do is just touch that pin, and it's going to boing in front of the seven and then go on to the other side, probably. For a spare. Got it! Oh! 107, the ball in the 10th. Six to take the lead after one. That was a tough shot. Very nice. Again, a seasoned bowler. On the bonus, 7, 8, 115, 112. Scott Lapierre wins the first string. Two more to go on Cannon from Mullen Network, the WON Sports Network. Back with our second string in just a moment. <laughs> Mike Warren, very successful Cannon for Cal Cal Calendar. Last year for Cannon Fitz for Cancer. Now you got another one coming out this year, a Hall of Fame edition. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I, I don't want to stop the action for, for too long, but this is uh, a moneymaker for the uh, Cannon Fitz for Cancer um, Foundation or cause. And what I did is I took pictures from as many of the bowlers as I could find. I got a calendar template and I put their pictures in on their respective birthdays for the bottom part of the calendar. And then for the top, for each month, we have a different Hall of Fame bowler because there was like 12 or 13 or so. So I've got big pictures of them. And this is a special Hall of Fame edition. And if you are coming to the Hall of Fame uh, banquet in October, I will have them available that night, but not before. Although I'm going to sneak a couple into Canada next week. Don't tell me. October anybody. 21st of the Castleton in Winter, New Hampshire. Tickets on the ICBA website or on Canopin Chat. $80 a ticket. Unlimited seats available. Well, 350 seats, maybe the most. Two, 300 seats, maybe. But available right now. What are your tickets? No limit. $80 a person. Please support Canopins for Cancer and Mike Warren's Canopins for Cancer calendar. Thanks so, for doing that, Mike. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a All fun right. calendar. Second string underway. Scott Lappy will lead off this string. As the visiting bowler, in a sense, he's the, I'm sorry, visiting bowler of this string, he's the number two seed, Charlie the number three seed. <clears throat> Scott won the first 115-112, Tim Douglas of Tornado plays the winner of this match. Lapierre on the nose. Can't get the four to go. Three, six, ten on the right. He does look a lot more confident, doesn't he, than he started just yeah. you know at the top of the first game. He's, yeah. he's definitely got uh, confidence in the in the approach. And Stanford Bowler is a faster house. This is a fair house. You get some action here if you're in the pocket. Beautiful try outside that three pin into the six, ten, but can, can, couldn't get to the four. Seventeen. Pro Series titles from youth to adult. Scott Lapierre, not related to Jeff or Jerry Lapierre in Maine, gets a 10 to start the second of three. Well, Gary Lapierre, the late newscaster on WBZ. <laughs> <laughs> Take it there, too. He's a 1P lap, one Lapierre with two R's. L-A-P-I-E-R-R-E. -R -R -E. Your fierce competitor and a very good bowler. Very consistent over the year. years. His kit is adorable. On the crossover... 3-10, mini split, wood to help. So you were a 10-pin bowler in Michigan growing up. Tell the fans where you're from and what got you involved in Kenneth Bowling. Uh, Detroit, Michigan, and in my radio career, I ended up in Boston in 1984. Was that WCGY? Uh, actually, no, that was that was the second station. The first was WZOU. Oh, yeah, the zoo. Yeah. 94.5. Yes, yes, it used to be WCOZ used before that. that. One. Yeah. 
Well, I was the morning guy with Brad Krantz, and when I got here, I had no idea what cantlepin bowling was. I saw it on one Saturday. Uh, it was actually, I believe, the uh, the big tournament of champions event with the Yellow Pages. Tim Lipke is who I remember being the bowler that day. Uh, Hall of Famer out of Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Scott two tens to start the second of three. He has a terminated. Charlie Collins lost the first 115-112. Won an instant classic over Nate Lees by one pin last match. Available on Cannibal Bowling Network. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. No, always free, never a charge. Cannibal Bowling Network, free on YouTube. Collins off to left, just three. Starting a second string here in Abington, Webster Tim Lane's Lucy's Pizza Bar. Full bar. Hand tossed pizza every day, made fresh every day. And again, that 10 inch chocolate chip cookie pizza, can't say enough about it. It's delicious. Just a couple minutes off of uh, Route 3. Uh, Route 18, Main Street. That's it. Abington, eight box. Down two in the string, five in the match. I was chatting uh, off air with John Pumphrey, who is the uh, president of the Mass Bowlers Association. And the owner here. And the owner here, that's right. And a wonderful host he is. Yes. Sharing some of his uh, ideas on ways they'd like to bring the state tournament back to what it used to be and he's got some great ideas and I hope it works for them because that was such a huge thing back in the 70s 80s and 90s. He's done wonders in just four years short years of one of the center here. And, and it factor in that that it was during COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was behind the eight ball right from the beginning throws all this money into a place and then you know four months you're closed. And he put Le Le uh, Lucy's Pizza Bar after his daughter's 19 I believe and it, it, it named after her, and it's been here for three years, doing really well here. As Collins a seven, just 15 through two. Down five in the string, eight in the match. Greg, how's the chicken fingers here? Delicious. I thoroughly recommend Lucy's Bar. I was tempted between either the meatball plate they have here, the mozzarella sticks, but uh, yeah, perfect for the broadcaster on the go or the bowler. And they get wraps, great, delicious, high quality wraps as well. The food here is delicious. You will not be disappointed. Takeout is available as well. On their website, Webster Timberlanes. Yeah, if you find a bowling center that has good food, you need to patronize it. Absolutely. A lot of them do, not all of them, but you know they're not just throwing it in the microwave, folks. They're they're doing it like it should be done. Three two split, good try. He's up the four seven. Now he got the three six ten. We saw two spread eagles in our first match today. Converted for spares. Converted. Nate yeah. least, and he picked up a quarter Worcester. Almost three, Almost actually. Almost three. That's that's a good point. Laffy going for three tens I mean, in a row. We could go th three months before we see it again. And he got it 30 through three in the second of three on Canopy Bowling Network and the WON Sports Network. Tim Douglas, the Tornado, the number one seed, up next $2,000 championship match. $1,000 with the runner up today, $500 with the run up in this match. And the great thing is, again, I can't say this enough, that the money is better than it was during the uh, high times of commercial television. Now, I realize even, the even, even with are putting, the inflation, even with with the inflation, oh, I, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, I think so too. Uh, the Channel Five, I think, first prize was like seven hundred dollars, yeah. and then three fifty the runner up, yeah. and they had all the bonus money structured in. The show I did, it was a thousand dollars first prize. Good bid on the object pin won't carry. End Six of the right, season, seven left. End of the season tournament was fifteen hundred dollars. So you know, two thousand dollars today. And this is a show that's being seen online. I mean, the way it's progressed is fantastic. Credit to you and to Jonathan and everybody else putting it together, organizing it, and getting the money for it. Scott, first, nine. First comes from the bowlers, too. I absolutely, mean, absolutely. Yeah. It's all about the bowlers. Nine, 39 yeah. through four. This is a 501c3 charity. Canopin Bowlers helping Canopin Bowlers going through cancer treatments. If you cannot make it today, please donate online via Venmo, canopinsforcancer.com. Or is it on your screen, Candlepins number four, cancer.com. If you need help, just message myself, Paul Grant, and Al Johnson, or your local bowling center. <laughs> Collins has terminated a strike. 25 plus two through three. That's how you come back from an eight and seven box. Long overdue for that one, don't you think? Didn't have one in the first match, had one in the second match. And that last match against Nate Lees came down to the last box, needed the mark, got a mark with an eight fill to win by one pin. Collins on the head pin, six, four on the left. On the right is the three, six, ten, working on a strike at lane 22. No double strike, but he has thrown a triple strike nine twice. And I've yeah. seen him throw a lot of strike, spare, strike, spare combinations as well. 
Seven on the fill on the strike, 32 through three. So right now he's up two in the string, down one in the match. Favorite moment in bowling, a 191 high single in the pros. Oh, he's got a lot more of those, I'm sure, and in his future. And should we say his friend Josh Daly and his teammate front of that Pro League has a 192 high single. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to get it out there. <laughs> Nine, 41 through four. So it's 41-39. Charlie up two in the string, down one in the match. Both balls open, not on a spare strike. And Scott Lapierre above the WON Sports logo network on lane 21. Approaching the halfway point of this semifinal match. On the crossover, strike bid, nine and three quarters. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. I thought that was down. I thought that was a strike. It's a famous toy in this. It is, up. yeah. That could never fall down. We're going to check to see if we have uh, a piece of wood that is outside of the Deadwood line once again. Tim Douglas, we'll have, Easter uh, Classic champions in the house here. We're going to send Josh Daly down. The destroyer, Josh Daly. Teammate of Charlie Collins, Central Park Lanes 3, Friday Night Pro League. Coverage on Kenneth Moe Network on Facebook he and says, YouTube, September 15th, around 7.30 or so. How much? Usually they'll show it's you with their play. hands how, how many inches or feet it was. I bet it was a couple inches. It would be, be tough to get around that piece of wood in front of that nine. Let's see how he plays it. Yeah, this would be fun. Going for the wood, and it won't go. A ski ball shot going for the 50. Right over the top. So had he capped the piece of wood that was close to the Deadwood line, would that have been uh, perhaps it's better? It's a crapshoot. And that's a top Paul Grant special. Missed the yeah. second, make the third <laughs> for a 10. 49 half, halfway through his match. He won the first, 115-112. Yeah, and a lot of quality tents in that half there. I mean, nothing a strike from Collins couldn't overcome. Look, she just did, of course. But... Great accuracy overall, and usually the marks tend to follow shortly after. Absolutely, a one pin up the deck, and a post. Seven left, the four has been right, is the one, three, six, ten. And it's actually the first time he's missed the head pin this string. The soothing sounds of Greg Gouillard. Thank you. Good bid, got the horses, but not the seven. Greg, the engineer today, not possible that you're set up today. Executive producer is Bob Lee and Jonathan Rios of WON Sports Network. Doing a great job putting our game out there across the WON Sports Network. Scott, another 10. How about five tens and a nine? 59 wish, through six. I wish people could see the desk that we have here and the things that are on it. There's $25 in cash. There's lottery That's bonus money for Charlie Collins tickets. so far. There's Tic Tacs. There's some gaffer's tape. You get your sky bars somewhere around here, too. Yeah, I put that in my bag. We've got the Make Hamilton Great it. Again mug available. we got here. the bottomless pit hungry guy, uh, Greg, over here. So it's... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, Greg. You going to come back with something on that one, Greg? Uh, I... Uh, as soon as I get over there, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> Collins, one, two, nine, ten. Wood to help him back. Beautiful shot. He got it. Wow. Outstanding. 51 half plus one. Halfway through his match at Webster Timberlanes. Great place to bowl. So he should take the lead now at this point, midway through the match exactly. Or just a shade past. So it says 24 lanes, it's actually 22. They took two lanes out to put the arcade in, so it starts in lane three now, so a three to 24. Uh, bowling centers have done that. You have to do that years. to survive. Think, uh, yeah. yeah, because I think you make more money per square foot. Yeah, absolutely. Collins, head pin hit, eight, nine. Two pin for a spare. He does mix them up, doesn't he? Sure does. So I would say he's probably 37, 38 miles an hour, maybe a shade yep. more than that. Yeah, around th you're between yep, maybe 39, sometimes 41. 51 half, that's spare nine. For two in a row, missed it. Oh. That'll irritate a bowler, but he's, he's a young guy. It's all a learning experience. Collins, Paul Good Grant 10. special, missed the second, missed the third, 10, missed opportunity, 70 through six. He's up 11 in the string, up eight in the match, but Scott Lapierre has pinned really well. He's overdue for a mark. Three tens, a nine, and two tens. That is a good sign, usually. Yeah, his pinning has been very good. I think, uh, who was telling us? Nate, I think, was telling us to look for that with him. He always said he pinned him. He always pinned him, pinned him. 
what he called pinned them to death. Yeah. Pinning, pinning, pinning. Get your nines and tens. Well, when you look at 20 pins from top to bottom in today's ladder, yes, every pin does count. 632 qualifying round, the number two seed. Spare chance, six and 10 on lane 22. And he's on the board. 69, the ball through seven. See, when I watch him and I've never seen him bowl before, I see confidence. Yeah. I see experience. And I see a guy that doesn't get rattled easily. He was the fifth seed last season, season two, and okay. he won the whole ladder. Mario Johnson with the ladies' first ladder, and we saw it together in Scarborough, the big 20, Mike Walker saw us in Maine. She was fifth. She went to the finals before losing to Amanda Carroll. By the way, Amanda Carroll, the Stacia Zernike Award winner. I did see that, yeah. yes. Congratulations, Amanda Carroll, October 21st. I mean, that, that's a big deal. Yes, it is. That's all the graciousness and competitive spirit that Stacia Zernike manifests during her career and her life with her family and her bowling, and now Amanda gets to carry that as someone who and, kind of shows that. And she coaches sports and team yes. main athletics. Does a great job up there. She's Very fierce fun, competitor. Fun to watch as a bowler, too. Eight in the fill. 77 through seven. Seven's a while for Scott Lapierre. 710, a sea of wood to the right. Helicopter in flight. <laughs> can you spin it over? Oh. How close can you get? Fell off the uh, deck before it could get to the seven pin. And missed that oh. time for a nine. Only a second blemish, two nine boxes in the string. But pinned really well, 86 through eight. So Charlie Collins lost the first, 115-112. Box to box right now. He's up 11 in the string, eight in the match. Up against a spare nine in the nine. Tim Douglas is format. in the house. Sorry about that. Tim is here. He's uh, watching the match, sizing up his potential comer. Talk about a 25-year-old youngster. Boy, he's a machine, too. Collins crossing over. 3-6 right, 7 left. Decent wood to work with. He's 25, you know. I thought he might be a little older than that. But, yeah, 1997. Maybe 26 in December. Yeah. Wow. His son, his, son his, his brother, Brother Scott, turned 24 yesterday. Oh, sweeping shot, spare, nice. That was pretty. Mother Lori appreciated that one. <laughs> 18 a ball through seven. Lori, we talked to her earlier today. His son broke through, finally got his first win in three tries. I know, I know. He's doing well and cheering him on, as you can hear me as usual, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm his number one supporter over here. On the bonus. Six, one, three, six, eight in the back left. 86 through seven. Box to box up. Nine in the like strength, the, uh, six in the match. How do you like the group of bowlers that he's been invited to bowl with on the league? Oh, you know what? He Since he's been in the league, he all the, the whole bowling community, they're awesome. Even though they're competing against each other, they're all friends. And I love that, right? Because it doesn't matter. Yeah, everybody wants to win. But, you know, win or lose, they still go home as friends, you know, which is great, you know? Such a great community, and I love it. Love it's a small, it. it's a small community. I think that's what keeps it close, relatively speaking. Well, that's the sad thing. It's like with all the candle pin um, centers that used to be open, like they're dwindling down, which is really sad. You know, um, as you said earlier, Paul, about the shirt. I mean, excuse me, about the cup, like to keep bowling, you know, going, which is great because candle pin bowling is great. You know. Make Candlepin Great mugs available here at Webster Timber Lanes or at Etsy.com. Type in Candlepin and get your Make Candlepin Great Again mug or hat and other bowling merchandise as well. And where do you get that cup again? They got them here at the, at the, at the desk. All right, I'm going to get one on my way out. $16 in person. Lap you a good bid. Mm -hmm. Misses a three. You had an eight in that fill before that box coming up 77 through seven, nine, 86 through eight. And now he gets a 10. So 96 through 9. A tight battle here at Webster Timber Lanes. Abington Mass, a great owner, and Rob Pumphrey, and Lucy's Pizza Bar. Lori, thanks for helping out today with the fundraising. Hey, thanks for it, It's not what I do, it's what you guys do. As I said earlier, thank you guys for doing this. This is not easy with all your computers, electronics. What's a computer? <laughs> Listen. I can't keep up with this. I'm always asking the younger kids like to help me with technology, okay? Tell me about it. Oh, You're I not need that help. old now. Come on. Listen, I'm old. Trust me, okay? <laughs> We're going to see you September 23rd, the roll-offs at Augusta, Maine. Yes. First ever handicap candle for cancer tournament. 
Yes, I'm very excited to be bowling with my son Charles. I'm surprised. Oh, he's what a shot! <laughs> Sliced and diced. Who needs the wood? Spare in the tenth. 106 in the ball. He's not flashy, but he's very confident. You know, you can see the experience with somebody like with Scott. Yeah, yeah. All right, Greg. I just love wait, it. This kid's adorable. Oh, I know. I know. I love that. Great, Greg. Great, Greg. By the way, just wait until you see all the V lookup tables that Dave Barber has keeping track of Easter Classic stats. Privilege to see that. Pierce probably won the outrun the Bear at Millis last weekend. Future Hall of Famer Dave Barber, seven for Scott Lapia, 113, second string, 228. His first two, a 114 average. Below his 123 current average right now. Charlie Collins, the Terminator from Waltham Ass. Mother standing by between us. Feel about your son being uh, known as a Terminator? I don't know, Paul. You you well, named my son that. So what's the reason for that? Okay. Because the Terminator always protects his mother. Oh, okay. All right. Then that's acceptable. That's acceptable. Uh, we we can work with that. All right. All right. I'll take it. Four seven split. <laughs> uh, not a split. Four seven leave rather. I should say. Wants to split the uprights if we can. Could go outside the four. And he does. Oh, good ball. Wow, that Spare was the ninth. Odd. 105 and a ball. Out of the pit and took it from behind. Hey, who's complaining? I'm not. No. I don't think Charlie is either. Looks the same on the score sheet, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> both tens with the ball. And Charlie has a great chance to take the lead in the match now after two strings. Three string match. Over time, a one string roll off till someone wins. Love to see that. We almost had one last match. And that that instant classic match. against Nate Lee's by one pin. Mm -hmm, 18 box to win it. Collins on the nose. Eight. Eight and ten, not going to be easy. That's on a spare. One thirteen through nine. He has to lead in the match through two strings. No bonus money in this match yet. Front of the mark. Oh, he got it! Wow! wow. Back to back. A strike for bonus money. One, two, three, as the Jackson Five would say in the tenth. Wait, did I tell you guys that he learned that from me? Just yeah. want to let you guys know you, that. You mean Jackson 5 dance moves, you mean? No, I'm spare shot. That, that spare shot. I'm he practiced that in the hallway. Shot. You moves like the Jackson 5? No, no, I've seen the dance floor on Facebook. <laughs> I'm talking about the bowling here. A clip wing eagle. Wow, spread eagle wow. minus a quarter. Then 5. You, 128. Second string. 240 through 2. The score total from Greg Gouillard. Uh, that's what I have, 240 to 228. Kern marks statistics, eight marks to six in Charlie Collins' favor, and three pins knocked down more by Charlie Collins as well in the pinning department. One big throwing string coming on up. So Charlie's up 12 on the W. Owen Sports Network and Canopy Mobile Network. Back in just another moment for our third and final string, unless we have overtime. Welcome back to Kennel Fitz for Cancer, season three, ladder one, our third match of the day. Charlie Collins, a terminator, the number three seed, leads the number two seed, Scott Lapierre, by 12, 240 to 228. If there's a tie, a one string roll off, Paul Grant, Greg Guya, Mike Warren on Kennel from Bowling Network and the WON Sports Network. Mike, another good match. It is, and Charlie is so exciting to watch. And just so well behaved, too. Yeah. Great mother's done wonders of the kids raising them. That's home. where it starts, right? In the home? Absolutely. <laughs> sure. And I watch Benjamin LaPierre, very polite, well spoken. His dad, very nice man. So we have a good community out here Absolutely. in Canopin Bowlers. Yeah. The way it should be. Three in the ten, mini split. Come for one twenty eight, the second string after one twelve opening string. It's got one fifteen and one thirteen, but Collins missed right. Ball comes back. But too far left. That ball can come back in play. Yeah, it sure can. As long as it doesn't hit, you know, another ball or, or dead Collins wood. Collins a 10 to start the third and final string of regulation. Tim Tornado Douglas, who now bowls here now. West Timberlanes and works here now. Oh, he does. Formerly a Boston yeah. Bowl in Hanover. From the Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston, Mass. Is the number one seed next. 643 qualifier. He's a joy to watch also. Turning 26 at the end of the year. 22-year-old Charlie Collins on lane 21 here in Abington, Mass. Five right, four seven left. This is not an easy leave. Oh, 
Need a little help from the wall. Some sidewall action. Go for it on the right-hand side, I would imagine. Left hand, I'm sorry, left. The four and the seven. Collins, nice bid. He's up the king, the five. Not the Elvis pin, the king pin. Nine, 19 through two. Scott Lapier down 12 in the match. Starts his third and final string, unless we have overtime. Just a fierce competitor out of Bowler Armour in Sanford, Maine, and what a place that is. What a great job they do there at Bowler Armour, Sanford, Maine. Right off the main turnpike. Inside, just about half an hour off the turnpike. Lapierre crossing over, eight, five right, eight left. Greg Guyar. The interesting thing is the pinning is after Lapierre started this match with two. He's put up a bevy of tens after that, and is starting to tilt the pinning. He's only slightly behind Charlie in that uh, area, so maybe there's still time in this string to really tilt the balance as he tries to overcome the 12-pin deficit. And just missed the spare, not by much. It's a game of millispecs, or less. The runner-up for this match will get $500 plus any bonus money. Charlie has 25 in bonus money so far. Scott Lapierre starts with a 10. Tied in the string, down 12 in the match, up against a nine. But a missed opportunity on what was easily a spare leave. He knows it, but again, he doesn't get rattled. Love his confidence. Love his style. Lapierre head pin hit, two left, five right. And again, these pesky two pinners, as Greg Gouillard likes to say, the average pro rate is 51%, give or take, for the average pro bowler. Stats by Kenneth Mullen Network. What about wood. schlubs like you and I? What is it? 17% for you. <laughs> <laughs> with, with wood. Yeah, all right. Spare. <laughs> 20 to ball through two uh, in the final string of the match, maybe. With seven pieces of wood and the two standing pins, we can probably get it down. <laughs> Charlie Collins to turn it up. 11 in the match, minus a ball. Scott can cut it to single digits. Can't wait to see what this kid is like in three years. Mm. On a fast track now at age 22. Steals eight, the one and the three. Please share this match your friends and family. Invite your friends to bowl. Can't help them bowling. Can't help them gift cards. Support your local bowling centers and get your friends involved in this great game. Fall leagues are forming also. Check a local bowling center for times and availability. Collins splits the upright spare. 29 the ball through three in the third. Still maintaining a bit of a lead over Scott LaPierre. A perfect weather day outside, but inside here, Webster Timberlane's having to match. There is a tornado warning. <laughs> there's Tim Douglas, number one seed on deck. Yeah, there's, the winner. there's a Terminator in the house, and there's a tornado warning. Yeah. Hide the children. Collins off to the right, just four. Make it five. Parallel pins plus the seven. On the spare, 34 through three. Nothing like the great game of Candlepin Bowling. For back-to-back -back spares, looks good. Oh, that couldn't get to the seven. Thought he had it. Well, he gets action, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah. Gets the 10. 44 through four, what a match. You know, I was doing a um, Friday Night Pro League. He threw like seven strikes that night. Then we did the Candle Fence for Cancer roll-off mm -hmm. and Metro Bowl Peabody threw 10 strikes in five strings. 17 strikes and less than in, in, in about eight, mat eight strings. So I called him the Terminator after that. So that's where it came from. Yeah, I called him a strike machine at first. We updated the Terminator. Terminator kind of flows better. Yeah, I think so too. Scott Lapierre on a bonus, 20 in a ball. Thin hit in the pocket, mixing and matching. Eight, two on the left, 10 on the right. 28 and, through two, mm. right now up nine in the string, down three in the match. Here we go again. Waiting for the wood to settle down. Fall the, the Atlantic rules say. Open singles tour all season long on the ACST Facebook page tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m., September 4th, Labor Day. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, takes on Josh Daly. Millis Mass at Ryan's. Coverage on Candle from Mowing Network. 
Lapierre trying to kick it over. Oh, what a try! How did they not go? Wow, he makes a double wood. <laughs> some great tries by both bowlers. Just couldn't get it to go. A for effort. A plus. A plus plus. And the, the usual 10 when he doesn't mark. I, I never see him miss that. And 38 that's a tough three. spare for a single pin for a right hand bowler, as I'm sure you know. I always made the hardest shots, it seemed like, than the easy ones. <laughs> Fourth box, third string. Semifinal match. Lapierre off to left, six, one in the middle, seven left, six, ten right. Box to box, up four in the string. Down eight in the match. He's up against a 10 box from the Terminator, Charlie Collins. This would be something. Looks good. <laughs> he did get it. Wow, on the delay. How about that, folks? 48 to ball through four. Down eight in the match. Nine fill to take the lead. Two terrific matches back to back. Only one pin left standing by the two bowlers so far in the string combined. The $100 strike challenge after this string is over. Each bowler throws one ball for $100. Collins crossing over. He gets nine. Got a break in that one. Clean shot at the 10. He has Wood rolling in front. He wants that to roll away. And that is not in good position right no, now. But still but going. It's still moving. Must come to a complete stop before you throw the ball. And that's not going to be easy. I think he made a seven pin last game or last match that was fairly similar to that on the other side, and he made it. Crucial spare chance. It won't go. Tough break. Roadblock. No fault of his own. Nine. Fifty-three. Half. The championship match is it next on Kenneth Mullen Network and the WON Sports Network later on. $2,000 first place prize, $1,000 for the runner-ups, $500 for the runner-up for this match today, plus bonus money. Collins crossing over, eight, three in the 10, wood to help. Even you could make that shot, Paul. Yes, <laughs> even I could make this shot. Oh, it's decent for once once we bowl with no practice. That's what Dick Lutz always used to say to me, something like that. Michael, even for you could spare. make that. For a spare, bang! Oh yeah. 63 and a ball through six in the final string of the match, maybe. Both on spares. So right now, through completed boxes, through four boxes, Scott's down eight in the match on a spare on lane 21. Home of the 10 inch chocolate chip cookie pizza. Lucy's Restaurant and Full Bar, what's Timber Lane's? Route 18, Abington Mass on Main Street. Takeout orders available as well. Lapierre crossing over, eight, nine, leads by one. And a great chance with a piece of wood in front of the nine. Nice fill on the spare in the fourth frame. 57 through four. Another Pretty instant classic match on Canopy Mowing Network. A lot of those over the last two or three years. Lapierre for another spare. All over it. Back to back, going for bonus money. Three marks in a row, any combination. Uh, spares and strikes in the same string, $25 in bonus money. Well, it's 50 back in the old Channel 5 days, but they had sponsorships, so. Oh, yeah. They could afford that. And honestly, it should have been more than that. They were making so much money on that show, uh, at least for a while. Tell me, the whole about houses with this money. <laughs> 67 half plus one on a roll. Missed left in just three. 5 2 split. Not happy with that one. Disappointing on a spare. Slaps his hands in disgust. Nothing wrong with the 70 half. So right now, that puts him up 17 in the string. He's up five in the match. He's up against a spare from the Terminator, Charlie Collins. Beautiful shot off the wall. He got it. Oh, my. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> Big time spare. Three in a row. $25 in bonus money. Show him the money. I was just doing the same gesture they did on Stars and Strikes. Some people really got into it. They were like, yeah. like both hands, like doing a whole dance. Yeah. You can watch those on YouTube. You can get two chocolate chip cookie pizzas now at that. $12.99 each. 
Collins on the nose, seven, a tough two on split. The three, six oh. on the right, the four on the left, on the spare, 70 through six. No wood, it's a cut shot or a bank shot if it's too extreme. This will be something, what a try. Well, a little more pressure on him now that uh, Scott has three marks in a row. Charlie gets the 10. 80 through seven, third and final string, unless we have overtime. That'll be a one string roll off. Could easily happen the way these two guys are bowling neck and neck. Almost had one last match. Yeah, one pin. 118 to 117. Charlie's third seed in a row in the ladder. A fourth seed, a one seed, now the third seed today. And half Worcester right, gotta love that, hate that shot. Can't stand that shot, the old dreaded half Worcester. Three in the nine. Collins, good bid. Two in the 10. And Lapia can take the lead in the match. Scott won the first, 115, 112. Shelly won the second, 128. It's 113, I believe it was, Greg, in the second string. 128, 113, I believe it was. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And Collins, 9, 89 through 8. Scott Lapia, 80, and a ball through 6. So box to box, up 10 in the string, down 2 in the match. Three more to take the lead. He's up against two open boxes from Charlie Collins, who had a 10 and a 9. Charlie would probably need a mark. On the bonus, thin hit. Four that time. Made the 5-2 split a, a cup of coffee ago, but takes the lead in the match. <laughs> 84 oh. through six, up 14 in the string, two in the match. Look at his last two box fills, three and four. That's tough. Beautiful bid, he got it again! Wow, <laughs> two great shots! <laughs> wow. Four marks in a row, $50 in bonus money. Making it hard on himself. <laughs> Good thing Al Johnson died. He'd be grimacing over this bonus money payout. Come out of the Tournament of Champions. Nobody funds. tell him. Don't ruin his day. Tournament of Champions coming back. He's, he's always watching. <laughs> three again. This feels a hurt him. Oh, boy. You another this one? Another three. A three, four, and three. Seven. A total 17 of. 17 pin lead in the string, five in the match. But a total of 10 fill pins in three boxes. For five in a row? Not this time. Three, five, six triangle. Here we go again, down the stretch. Runner-up gets $500. The winner moves into the championship match for $2,000. $1,000 with the runner-up. Lap yard nine. Two blocks to go. 106 through eight. 106, 89. Scott up 17 in the string. Five in the match. Can the Terminator do it again like last match? In dramatic fashion. And he could easily have had 10 to 15 more bonus pins on those three three spare fills of three, four, and three. Letting Charlie back in the match. Collins, pounds a strike zone, eight. Two way. left, five right. right Needs a mark. Guide to help, the broom is out for the sweep. Needs it, gets it, spare of the ninth. Crowd goes wild in Abington. 99 of the ball through nine. Not like the great game of Caliph and Bowling, folks. Get your friends and family involved. Fall leagues are forming. Caliph and gift cards are a great way to do it all year round. Please support your local bowling centers. Invest in Caliph and Bowling. Nothing like it. Collins hooked right off the wall. Five. Scott did 10. Next box to tie the match. Five on the fill. 104 through nine. Really can use another one. He's got decent wood behind the one and the two. That's the seven, eight, nine and back. Can he get it? Looks good. No. He's going to need that 10 would help. A mark can win it for Scott Lapierre.
Ten is huge. And he gets it. Big Ten. 114. Final string, maybe. 354 for the Terminator, Charlie Collins. And 334 for LaPierre, so indeed the 10 was critical because now LaPierre would need a mark to win. A pair of 10s ties it and gives us overtime for the first time in this show. 20 to tie, 21 to go to the championship match against the Tornado, Tim Douglas. Next on Camel from Mullen Network and WON Sports later on. A uh, generous steal of eight. One of the three, got to take advantage of this one. Want to lose these guys doing their best. For a spare, missed it. Needs two tens to avoid a mark. A big break, could not take advantage of that one three gimme. Needs the ten, missed again, needs a mark now. Eight. Final box to match. Here we go again down to the final box. 114 through nine. He's down two of the match, up against a 10. Needs a 13 box to go to the finals. Needs a mark. Missed left, 1-7-10. Oh. The Augusta, Maine <laughs> special. Oh no. Lobs for the bowl, a great name for a bowling center, Augusta, Maine. Home of the next Kendall Fence for Cancer. First handicap match. September 23rd, 11 and 2. Register on Candlepin Chat. This is not going to be easy. 1 7 10. Needs Charlie it. wins if he misses this. Needs it. Missed it. And Charlie Collins is going to the finals. He was number one seed last season. Losing an eventual winner, Corey Packard. Eight. What a match. 122 for Scott Lapierre. Charlie Collins hangs on. A four pin win. Final score from Greg Gouillard. Charlie Collins victorious, 354 to 350. Final mark situation, 11 marks, 211 in fact. And Collins knocked over five more pins than Scott did. So actually, it was pins alone that determined the outcome. Stay tuned for the interviews and our $100 strike challenge next on Candle and Bowling Network and the WON Sports Network. Welcome back to Calumphance for Cancer, our third match of this first ladder series of season three. Another dandy. One pin win for Charlie in the last match, a four pin win this time around. And now the bowlers will bowl one ball for $100 strike challenge. Charlie Collins will bowl first. And then Scarlett will throw one ball for $100. Okay, now we're back. Scott, tough loss. I know that two blocks start the match. Yeah, that was a, that was a killer, that but first you, box. But you fought back and you pinned really well, got up nines and yeah. tens, kept yourself in there, took the lead, and Charlie came back again at the end. Yeah, hey, that's what it is, you know what I mean? These kids, they're good, they're good. Tough to beat these kids, you, you know? That one three leave on the ninth box, that third string, you missed it, I know that it hurt so much. Yeah, oh yeah, that's it, I missed a couple of them. There's a few out there I could, I could get back that I would've won this match, so hey, whatever, I'm still happy, walking away happy. You won it all last year, now you've come in Basically, in third place today, you get $500 plus $50 in bonus money. So you have, we'll give you another $25 afterwards. So six, $550 today. Congratulations. We have to add another money afterwards. We'll get that afterwards, okay? Thank you. And we'll do the $100 strike challenge. You already did that one. So we'll see you next time down the road. Next one's going to be in Concord at Buttwells. All right, Mike Moran with the Terminator, Charlie Collins. And here's your winner going into the championship match against Tim Douglas coming up next. So, uh, Charlie, what were you thinking in that last game when he started piling on those spares? But then... 
he didn't have some very good fills, so you must have felt the door was open. Yeah, I had Josh come over to me. <laughs> Josh was like my little coach, and uh, he talked to me, and I'm going to move over a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, Josh was like my little coach, and uh, he just he guided me through it, and I just, he told me to go get a mark, and I did, and he was right with, with, right with me the entire time. So, But did he give you the situation of the bad fills for your opponent and, you know, just keep it steady and don't lose your head, and you're there. Yeah, he uh, he told me if he has a bad fill, then you still have a chance. And if he has a good fill, you know you have to you have to mark out, and that's that's how I won. He he really uh, switched. He switched the momentum for me. You know, I was destined to go get it, and I did. So, what do you know about Scott Douglas? Scott Douglas. I mean, uh, I'm sorry about that. Tim Douglas. Well, excuse. Scott's his brother. <laughs> well, what I know about Scott is that's Tim's younger brother, <laughs> and his birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Scott. And um, Tim is a fierce competitor. Um, we went ag- we went at it at the uh, ACST. We're one and one, and uh, this is gonna be the tiebreaker right here. And this is this is a home game for him. It's home away. I don't care. I want a bowl. <laughs> All right, and you shall. Congratulations. So it's the tornado and the terminator next on Kenneth Mullen Network, WN Sports Network. Back to Greg Guyar to wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching this presentation of Candle Pins for Cancer. And until